God is saying to you today, as we near the end of February, the angels want you to know that this month has been full of divine power and guidance. You are seeing this message because the angels have been guiding you towards it, and it is important for you to open it right now. The end of February marks a time of transition and transformation, and the angels want you to know that this is a powerful opportunity for growth and change. The divine power that has been surrounding you this month is leading you towards a new chapter in your life. One that is aligned with your true purpose and highest potential. The angels are urging you to open yourself up to this power and allow it to guide you towards your destiny. Like this video in the event that you have a trust in God. This month may have brought challenges and obstacles, but the angels want you to know that these were necessary for your growth. They have been with you every step of the way, providing you with strength, courage, and guidance. Now, as we reach the end of February, the angels want to remind you that you are never alone. They are always by your side, supporting and guiding you towards a path that will lead you to your highest good. Type 1111 if you're ready. As you open this message, the angels want you to take a moment to reflect on the progress you have made this month. Celebrate the small victories and acknowledge the lessons you have learned. The angels are proud of you for your perseverance and determination, and they want you to know that these qualities will continue to serve you in the future. As we enter a new month, the angels want you to release any fears or doubts that may be holding you back. Trust in the divine power that is guiding you and have faith that everything is unfolding exactly as it should. The angels want you to know that this is a time of great manifestation, and by opening yourself up to the power of the universe, you can attract all the abundance and blessings that you deserve. Type yes if you trust God. Remember, you are a powerful being with the support of the angels and the universe behind you. Trust in yourself and trust in the divine power that is leading you towards your true purpose. Open yourself up to the opportunities and possibilities that lie ahead and know that the angels are always with you, guiding you towards your highest potential. Embrace this message and the power it holds, and allow yourself to step into the next chapter of your journey with confidence and grace. Type, I am ready to shine, to affirm. What is breaking you is also building you. Someday, you'll realize that every struggle you're going through is being used to build you up. In God, no pain is ever wasted. In Him, everything has a purpose. In the breaking, trust Him even more. It's okay to show up imperfectly. This is your reminder that you are allowed to show up to whatever it is that God is calling you to do with all those cracks and imperfections. Don't let those worldly standards stop you from experiencing the fullness of God's grace. It's okay if you're not at your best yet. It's okay if you're still learning. It's okay if you're still growing. God just wants to see your obedience, and that's more than enough for Him. Type yes if you needed this. There's nothing better than God's plans for you know that in your situation, God is already moving. Not because He wants to meet your prayers or expectations, but because He will surpass them all. His plans are still better than your greatest dreams and plans. Delight yourself in the Lord. 
shaken but never defeated. Right now you might think that your life is hopeless, but what you can't see is God picking up all the broken pieces that you're too scared to touch. He's fighting battles you don't even know. You're about to give up, but God is declaring. You're about to walk through your breakthrough. My child, have faith in me. I am fighting for you. So you continue to walk in your journey with full confidence in believing that life is not meant to be lived in flawless moments. You can fail any time of the day, but you can also win in every lesson you get. You take every feeling of emptiness as a chance of experiencing God's fullness. He met you right in the middle of your mess, which compels you to embrace people where they are and love them despite of what they have done. They might sin differently from you, but no one is exempted from receiving the fullness of God's love and forgiveness. Religion can't save, but relationship can make someone brave. Dear beloved, God doesn't waste the pain. Use yours to glorify his name. Type yes to receive it. From stress to blessed isn't amazing how God can turn our worries and trials to blessings. If you're stressing about something today, know that you have a choice. You can either keep worrying or you can surrender it all to God and choose to pray about everything. There is power in having faith that God can work all things together for your good. On days you find yourself hard to love, remind yourself of this truth. On my worst days, I am loved nonetheless. In spite of everything, God will show his love through blessing us with the right people who will see us beyond what we can bring to the table. People who will love us simply for who we are in God are weird, boring, clumsy self is seen and she is loved non-eateless. What you're about to discover today is life-changing. One minute you're struggling to pay bills, swamped with money worries and the next minute you're attracting money like steel to a magnet what makes this life-changing difference in people's lives it's called the genetic wealth code once you activate it your life will never be the same again you can activate your genetic wealth code here today. It's best to activate this code now. While this page is still live. Tap the link in my comments to activate your genetic wealth code. So you continue to walk in your journey with full confidence in believing that life is not meant to be lived in flawless moments. You can fail any time of the day, but you can also win in every lesson you get. You take every feeling of emptiness as a chance of experiencing God's fullness. He met you right in the middle of your mess, which compels you to embrace people where they are and love them despite of what they have done. They might sin differently from you, but no one is exempted from receiving the fullness of God's love and forgiveness. Religion can't save, but relationship can make someone brave. Dear beloved, God doesn't waste the pain. Use yours to glorify his name. Type yes if you trust in God. In God's timeline, no season is ever wasted in God's timeline. Whatever you're going through, no matter how painful it is, God will definitely use it so he can bring you closer to him. And so I hope you seek, worship, and trust him more. He is a God who doesn't waste the pain. He will do it again. God is doing something, and even if you can't see it right now, keep praying. Keep working. 
Keep trusting him. He will prove that he is faithful. He is a promise keeper. He is your great provider. He won't forget. He will finish what he started in your life. Be proud of what you stand for, desire, and believe. Release the fears of being judged, rejected, or deemed as irrational. What matters to you is valid and important. You've spent enough time molding yourself into who everybody else wants you to be. This next season is all about you. Trust that the people and circumstances meant for you will, sooner or later, align with what you seek. Until then, don't give in. Don't keep trying to fit into spaces and relationships that don't feel right. You're entitled to living a life that's true and authentic to you. Refuse to settle for anything less. Type. I believe in myself. To affirm. Seven gentle reminders as you start your year one. Take it slow. Remember that beautiful things take time. Enjoy the Lord's process. Two, God has a unique timing for your life. What's for you will be for you. Three, a busy life doesn't mean a productive life. Four, it's okay if you're not at your best all the time. When you're weak, God's strength will cover you. 5. Take as much as quiet moments as you can. Process your emotions and learn to lead them wisely. 6. Friends do come and go, but there are relationships that are built for a lifetime. Value those people. 7. Protect your peace. Let go of anything that is not helping you to become a kinder, wiser, and healthier. Prepare for what you're praying for. Faith doesn't just wait, but it prepares. It's not just a wish, but an evidence of the things you hope for. It's an act of declaration. God, I don't see it now, but I'm ready to leave all my fears behind. Train me for what I'm praying for. Use me. I want to actively learn from the season. Prepare, for your God says it's coming. When you submit to God's plans, you allow your faith to be bigger than your emotions. It's saying, My God is bigger than any situation. God's plans are much bigger than what we want for ourselves. You'll receive hope and peace from Him that allows you to fully trust in His promises. God will never lead you to destruction. When you submit to Him, He becomes your life's ultimate strength and security. My God will fight for me. Comment, Amen, if you believe in his time, not yours. Just because a promise has not happened in your life yet doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Let go of those worries. Shake off those doubts. Walk by faith again. What God has planned for your life will happen. He is a God who is faithful and true. Trust him completely in his time, not yours. It's a tiring day, isn't it? Actually, the past few days have been rough. It's been a tiring season. Our default could be a complaining spirit or to have a grumbling heart. It's also a reason to get mad quickly or to lose our temper over the tiniest things. But here's my prayer that no matter how tired you are, you will never forget to be thankful, to be gentle, to be kind, to be patient, to yourself and to others. 
May your heart find these words. Yes, I'm tired, but I also have plenty of reasons to be grateful for. As February comes to an end, the angels want you to know that this is no coincidence. You are seeing this message because of divine power and guidance. The angels have been watching over you and guiding you towards this moment. They want you to open your heart and mind to receive their message. This is a powerful time filled with spiritual energy and the angels are here to help you tap into it. They want you to know that you are not alone and that they are always with you, supporting and guiding you on your journey. Type, I embrace my power to affirm. This message is a reminder that you are a powerful being and that you have the ability to create your own reality. The angels want you to use this power wisely and with love. This is the time for you to let go of any negative thoughts or beliefs that are holding you back. The angels are here to help you release any fears or doubts that may be preventing you from living your best life. They also want you to know that this is a time of new beginnings. As one month ends, another begins and with it comes a fresh start. The angels want you to take this opportunity to set new intentions and goals for yourself. They are here to support you in manifesting your dreams and desires. Trust in their guidance and know that they are always working behind the scenes to help you achieve your highest potential. Type yes if you believe. God is saying to you today, I know you have been questioning yourself lately and wondering if you are really strong enough or good enough to do what I placed in your heart to do. This message is here to remind you that you can do all things through Christ. Don't you dare give up or let fear talk you out of your dream. Remember, I am with you and you will succeed. You can do this. Check bio link to secret of attract money. Link in comment section. This is also a time to pay attention to your intuition and inner wisdom. The angels want you to listen to your inner voice and trust in the signs and synchronicities that they are sending your way. They may be using feathers, numbers, or songs to communicate with you. Be open and receptive to these messages as they hold important guidance for your journey. As this message reaches you, the angels want you to know that you are loved unconditionally. They see your true essence and want you to embrace your uniqueness. You are a divine being and the angels are here to remind you of your worth and value. Embrace this love and let it guide you towards living a fulfilling and purposeful life. In conclusion, the angels want you to know that this February is not just any ordinary month. It is a time filled with divine energy and guidance. Trust in the power of the universe and know that the angels are always by your side, guiding you towards your highest good. Open your heart and mind to receive their message and let it guide you towards a brighter and more fulfilling future. You are a powerful being and the angels want you to embrace your true potential. Type 1010 to receive it. The angels want you to know that the month of February is coming to an end, but it is not the end of your journey. This is a reminder that you are being guided and supported by divine power. The angels are with you every step of the way, and they want you to know that you are not alone. Be open this message right now because it is a sign from the angels that they have a special message for you. 
This message is meant to uplift and inspire you and to remind you of your own strength and resilience. You have come so far and the angels are proud of you. As February ends, take a moment to reflect on all that you have achieved and overcome in this month. You have faced challenges, but you have also experienced moments of joy and growth. Every experience has been a lesson and a stepping stone on your journey. The angels want you to know that as you enter into a new month, you have the power to create the life you desire. Take time to set your intentions and make plans for the future. Trust in the divine guidance and support that is always available to you. Comment Amen if you receive this word. Remember, you are a powerful being with unlimited potential. The angels are here to remind you of your own strength and to guide you towards your highest good. Trust in the divine power within you and know that you are capable of achieving anything you set your mind to. So, as February comes to an end, embrace the changes and opportunities that are coming your way. Trust in the divine plan and know that everything is unfolding exactly as it should. You are loved, supported, and guided by the angels every step of the way. Believe in yourself and the power of the universe, and you will manifest your desires. Trust in the journey and have faith that everything will work out for your highest good. The angels are with you, and they want you to know that you are exactly where you need to be. Keep moving forward with confidence and know that you are a powerful co-creator of your own reality. Be thank you, angels, for your loving guidance and support. I am ready to embrace the new opportunities and challenges that await me in the upcoming month. I trust in the divine power within me, and I know that everything is working out for my highest good. I am grateful for this reminder and for your constant presence in my life. Amen. Type 1212 if you needed this. 96% of people have no clue this method exists. For manifesting money, there is a powerful manifestation technique. It changes your beliefs on reality in the deepest level of the subconscious mind. It literally changed my life, give it an honest try. Click the link in our bio to see if this works for you too. Subscribe our channel if you love Lord. You're more resilient than you give yourself credit for. So many times now, you found ways to adapt to unexpected circumstances. You bounced back whenever life kicked your feet out from under you. You navigated difficult emotions and refused to let them get the best of you. You chose to stay alive despite the world seemingly giving you every reason to give up. Take a moment to recognize the strength of your character. Trials and tribulations may have knocked you down, but you never gave them the power to keep you down. With all that you figured out, overcame, and endured, you are nothing short of a true warrior. Drop a yes to receive it. Things will get better. You'll figure out whatever is creating stress and confusion within you. Those tormenting thoughts will eventually pass. Your mental health, physical well-being, and financial situation will improve. The right people will find you and love you wholeheartedly. Sometimes, life will hold off the goodness in your life to fortify your strength, help you become more comfortable with discomfort and amplify your gratitude for blessings when they arrive. 
So no, you're not being punished, and you're not forever doomed to the perils of life. You're being prepared to appreciate the good times. You're being urged to trust that, regardless of what happens today, the future will turn out okay. Type. I'm gentle with myself. To affirm. You have what it takes. To heal. To recover. To move on. To level up to show up differently, to accomplish your goals. Changing who you've been for a long time is difficult but oftentimes necessary for the sake of a happier, more fulfilling existence. Remain patient yet persistent. Forgive yourself for any mistakes along the way. Celebrate your wins no matter how small. Just because you feel like your world's away from where you want to be doesn't mean that the progress of your pursuit is pointless. Step by step, breathe by breath, and decision by decision, you can and will create a different life for yourself. If you want to attract huge money effortlessly, starting today, check link in comments below to know the shocking wealth secrets revealed by rogue NASA scientists. Subscribe our channel if you believe in God. It's going to happen suddenly, when you didn't see it coming. Just wait until you see why God had you wait. What God is doing is beyond what you could ever pray or think of. I pray that patience will come upon you as you wait on the Lord for what He has in store for you. All of your days have already been written in God's book. When you go through a disappointment, don't stop on that page. Stay the course. Keep believing. You may be tired, discouraged and frustrated, but don't give up on your future. Our God is faithful. Opportunities will come looking for you. Favor will chase you down. Negative situations will turn around and line up with God's awesome plan. Type. I embrace my power. To affirm. Spoiler alert. There's about to be a major plot twist. In the end, God flips the whole thing in your favor and causes the attack against you to work for you. The deepest level of worship is praising God in spite of the pain, thanking God during the trials, trusting Him when we're tempted to lose hope and loving Him when He seems so distant and far away. At my lowest, God is my hope. At my darkest, God is my light. At my weakest, God is my strength. At my saddest, God is my comforter. God is saying to you today, I am about to promote you. I am about to give you an opportunity you've never had. I am opening doors for you. I am going to take you from the bottom to the top. Type 1313. If you love God. Type 222. To affirm and share this video with five people who trust God. Comment. Jesus is Lord.